and I am really honored and super excited to be your host for this evening on the India Story Continued. A place where you get your dose of arts, culture, fashion, music and if you ask me, music has kept us alive during this period of COVID. Today I have a very interesting artist with me on the India Story Continues episode 5 of season 1. She's called Malvika Orf Mali, that's her stage name and she's an, a young, independent, beautiful artist and I'm sure you've heard of her if you haven't. Today, we're going to go through her whole story. Apart from a wonderful performance, she's sitting right next to a piano and a guitar. So whenever you feel like it, we can ask her to sing one of our favorite songs. So at one point, she was part of an independent band called Bass in Bridge or 2011 May, she became an independent singer-songwriter. So currently, Mali of Malvika is considered one of the most interesting, one of the most exciting and innovative artists to come out of our country. She has this thought-provoking lyricism, she has an angel voice, her production values are deep. And as you will see when she speaks to me today, she thinks about all of this a lot. Her music combines inspiration from the 80s and 90s pop ka era and it has a wonderful contemporary twist to it. She's writing about things that matter. She thinks deeply, so I'm very happy and proud to bring you Malvika. Let's say hello to her. Hey Malvika, <laughs> hey, 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 Mali, hey, hey, you're hey. looking lovely. Hey, Mali, you're Mali, I'm Mali, 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 I have to tell you that I've been called Malu on more than one occasion um, because Malishka short forms to Malu. Yeah, so have I. and then if they see my curls, then they're asking me if you're Malayali, but That's you yeah. are actually like your parents are uh, Malayali. Yes. So lovely to meet you, Mali, and uh, so lovely to hear your sound. Likewise, I've, me I've heard your voice so many times in the radio, and it's actually kind of surreal to be speaking to you in person right now. I have heard your songs and seen okay. AR Rahman tweet about you, so it's so surreal talking to you right now with that nice piano on your <laughs> left and your musical instruments. You, you have to yeah. say, you have to play us just a riff on the piano, like to welcome our guest to the India Story Continues today, please. Oh yeah, sure. Um, I just put out a song and I'm just going to play like a few bits of one of my latest songs. <laughs> Perfect Thank welcome. You. So first of all, welcome to the India Story Continues Malvika. I hope you're having a great time that you're here. So, yeah. you know, um, your stories, your your uniqueness in your music, it touches very personal chords. I was reading up all about you and your music is very inspired by perhaps overthinking as you put it uh, about life and about... Yeah. So tell me about your journey, your story. How do you find the will to do this? How do you do it? What's your process? Um, so for me, like like you already know, a lot of my music comes from a very personal place, either from events that have happened in my life, or people that I've met, or like you know my close family um, that I draw inspiration from. That's why each of my songs kind of bookend an important event in my life or a chapter in my life. So literally, my entire life so far can be summed up in um, different chapters with songs that are written. You started a lot earlier, right? Your first performance was at the age of 12. Um, you started writing much earlier, so... Yeah. Are you, do, you, do you think you're an old soul or what? 
ऐसा ही कुछ होगा मतलब ओल्ड सोल प्रीवियस लाइफ कुछ तो होगा समटाइम्स सो आई थिंक आई एम एन ओल्ड सोल इन अ वे दैट आई एम रियली बैड विद थिंग्स लाइक टेक्नोलॉजी एंड दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग आई मीन समटाइम्स माय ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स आर आस्किंग अबाउट सम टेक्नोलॉजी एंड आई एम लाइक ओह वेट लेट मी लुक अप हाउ टू डू दैट सो इन सम इन अदर वेज आई थिंक आई एम एन ओल्ड सोल uh so i i don't know like sometimes i feel 80 sometimes i feel 18 uh i'm very rarely in between so that's that's where i'm at so i started writing when i was 16 and before that it was poetry so i used to write poetry and try and uh my goal every year was to get one of my poems published in a school okay. magazine for that year every time one of my poems got published and it it did every year like one of them i would send three four options and i would hope that one of them would get published that was like my little kind of rush like my release rush that i used to get from the time i was young i really i think i enjoyed the process of just release you know like making something and watching it be consumed because i i realized that very early in the day for me one of the greatest things about making art is to kind of share that with people yeah and now also i i find myself uh, going through the same thing when i i try to write music go through this like tedious process of producing it and you know making sure that there's content created around it and then finally putting it out into the world and it's quite a unique feeling you know when you do that it feels like i mean i i describe it as like you know literally cutting off a piece of your flesh and like offering it wow. to the world and saying take it take a part yeah. of me So um uh, you know Malvika I, I didn't start this with a proper introduction I should actually ask you first what do you prefer being called uh, Malvika or your stage name Mally how do you how do you like to be called If it, honestly it's up to you but uh, Mally is what everybody calls me in fact the name Mally my stage name itself comes from my nickname like it's not the other way around <laughs> I also want to ask you what are your thoughts on okay. the India story I actually attended the India Story Festival in uh, Calcutta I think a couple of years ago I played with Tejas uh, who's also a musician I performed at the India Story Festival and that was my only experience of it but um, this is the first time I'm actually a part of it uh, you know actually as me so and you are wonderful and that's why what we're going to do is quickly uh, ladies and gentlemen let's see a small video of Mali's work right now here on the India Story continues There musician like you how were the formants of the lockdown what did you do it's been quite an adventure so i actually i was in bombay for the first 2 3 months of the lockdown this year has just changed so drastically for me and for everyone but for me as well i was supposed to go to japan to film a music video in march oh. and and yeah i know i mean i don't have to tell you what happened <laughs> so my trip got cancelled and i was quite heartbroken and i thought you know like in a month's time it'll be okay in two months time this isn't going to continue past jai like i was quite optimistic at the time and i was also hoping that you know some work would come in that i that, you know at least i could tide over these lockdown months for me i i do a lot of projects where i sing for jingles and um, commercial projects and even that got affected it was starting to stress me out but then i also had this album to release so then i kind of had something to channel my sort of energy um, energy too yeah. uh then in june i actually took the decision to move back to chennai to my family's house where i am right now okay. and then i came back you know i've been living at home that's been good i i got covid about a week ago <laughs> oh my goodness i tested positive how are you doing now i'm fine i'm actually like completely touched but i'm okay um i have no symptoms i haven't had any symptoms in like almost a week now But last weekend, I actually I was down with fever and a cold. And I think when you have COVID, like there's so many stages that people go through when you contract it. And it's the first thing you think is, this is a normal flu. This is I don't yeah. have all the symptoms of COVID, so I'm okay. And you think you're like free of it. But then um, you know I just tested. I just called for a test and uh, tested just to be sure. Mm-hmm. And uh, sure enough, I tested positive, and so I had to do the whole thing of calling everybody I'd met in the past few days and um, letting them know that I tested positive. Who have been your influences? 
I I know AR Rahman is one of them for sure. I mean, growing up in Chennai, you know, in the nineties especially, like AR Rahman's music was like yeah. everywhere. Yeah. You, know, you yeah. could not escape. Some of the earliest songs that I could sing in Tamil were actually uh, songs from AR Rahman. I think one of the earliest songs I remember listening to uh, his was the song called Chikku Bukku Raile. Sing it, which is. Please. parents you know even though they're not musicians they expose me to a lot of uh, music especially like retro stuff my mom listened to a lot of the bee gees and the carpenters and abba and my dad was actually like big into you know new wave uh, synth pop from the 80s and electronic like early electronic music and my granddad loved jazz and you know oh, classical gosh. music so your granddad and your parents yeah. are just like me and i can imagine so those are the influences <laughs> like i said old uh, you're an old soul with like a deep knowledge of yeah. music and a different kind of music what did it feel like when ar rahman tweeted were you in that space already you already knew i am in this universe and now i'm going to make it big or did ar rahman's tweet or retweet come as a big shock like what just happened So um surprisingly he actually has tweeted about my music a couple of times in the past and one the earliest was in 2011 like when I had my band Bass and Bridge that you mentioned like yes. I we broken up and after we broke up he found a video of us on YouTube and just tweeted about it and uh, you know I was in college that year I came back and my grandma uh, says hey did you see on the internet What happened? And I said, what, what happened? <laughs> you happened. She said, you know, Ia Rahman has a uh, made a tweet or uh, has done a tweet or some. She had some way of putting it. <laughs> and I said, oh, of of what? And she's like, your song, your song. And so I went on online, and it was all over my my Facebook wall or timeline or something. And uh, it was so surreal to see that because the band had disbanded, and you know, this video was still there. And he somehow discovered it. I don't know if someone had sent it to him or if he was just. so sort of, uh looking around on youtube with the show up as a suggestion um but then there was a lot of talk about whether our band would get together because he tweeted and shared our music but i think <laughs> we did like it was the over. band was done the band was done yeah so tell me have you spoken to yaar have you spoken to uh, yaar rahman and like, yeah actually we have we have worked together on a very small bit like i wouldn't say it was even a song like i wouldn't call, it wouldn't even qualify as an actual song it was like a bit of um the background score of a movie called okay kan money yes of uh, course and yeah so there was like one party song and you know in the party scene there's like a song going on in the back and that's actually amazing <laughs> what is your process for me i actually i write and compose at the same time for me it's kind of hand in hand i've never you know just written lyrics and said okay now let me put this to melody or i've never written a melody and been like okay now i'm going to find lyrics and i'm going to write a separate poem like it's never been two separate things it's always something that comes together for me you kind of have to like when people say oh i also want to be an independent artist i'm like you actually music is 10% of the job like people are not prepared for that music is important but it's only a small part of the job a lot of it is you know reaching out to people writing emails making sure your online presence is fine creating content performing you know it's 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 so much more than just writing a song and saying okay now i have a song now i also want to you know release it it's really not just that yeah that's very important what you just said there's always that Uh, debate about you know talent versus hustle and hustle is a big part yeah. of the talent right you've got to be talented and yet there is a hustle that is in it which yeah. means you just have got to be smart about a lot of things you've got to go beyond just like okay my song is ready now somebody should land up and take and you have to be yeah and you have to be ready to fail a lot like definitely the first few years of your life doing this you actually you know make so many mistakes and you regret it you think of giving up and uh, is just a matter of powering through all that and just saying okay you know what put it down to the learning curve and then just move forward and do it right the next time tell me mali tell us about your recent uh, release absolute from from uh, your album caution to the wind yeah so uh, actually caution to the wind is my uh, the album that i'm planning to put out in its entirety this year 
with you by the end of this year. I've released two singles from it so far. One of them is Age of Limbo, which I put out in May, and the second one is Absolute, which I put out last month in August. I've sort of been winging it, to be honest. I didn't. The, these weren't the songs that I initially planned to release in this order. In fact, I told you that music video that I was supposed to shoot in Japan. But you know, it just. It sort of all fell into place in a way that you know, Age of Limbo is you know became the most relevant song to release at the time because it was the start of the lockdown. Everybody was talking about yeah. the new normal. Uh, people were you know not sure how long this is going to take to kind of completely come through. We're still thinking about it. So Age of Limbo became a topical song to release then. Um, Absolute became a topical song to release last month because obviously you know since we've been sitting at home and. Uh, tuning into media, we've never been more aware, in a way, of what's going on around us. At the same time, we're so not aware of what's happening because all that we're hearing is what the media wants us to hear. There's so many stories that are not being told. There's so many people who are not being heard. There's so many people whose people whose voices are being kind of suppressed. But absolutely, it was something I wrote about three years ago, and it was at a time where I noticed that. Um, you know, people. There were a lot of people, like farmers, people in the military, people um, doing, you know, service jobs, who were being sort of sidelined in in our country, and their voices weren't being heard, and their stories weren't being told. Uh, but at the same time, these are the people who are the go-to audience for when someone needs to come into power yeah. or get brownie points or votes. You know, they're kind of being used when they need to be used, but. You know, being treated terribly when it when it actually comes down. Absolute was about that. It's about you know giving people giving people in power that sort of um, power, and then uh, having them misuse it. In a way. I'm so glad that you know the new wave of musicians are thinking deeper. Like I, I mean, I started out saying you're an old soul, but I feel like the new generation um, will need to will just need to be a deeper people. What you're here for right now? We must hear your performance. Malvika Manoj, ladies and gentlemen, also known as Manny, has been having a wonderful con conversation with us here on the India Story Continues, and I think we should give the stage to her uh, to perform. All right, Malvika, take it away.
The evening's laughter has reached an end You find yourself trapped in a world Of wrapped attention Requests for songs ring out The same old tunes demanded by Convention You shy away but not for long We all begin to sing the songs you long to play Tunes from yesterday You yield to pressure from the crowd Travel you can't play out loud The lungs they seem to disobey you But please find the strength To play us just one more We love to hear you These songs are so long before we love to hear you play Your face turns red, just sip your drink For a moment start to think about the times It all came easy The worn out stages you once played Lifelong friends you thought you made This time's a crazy The songs that you don't recognize The light are not the children's eyes That soon appear to be a souvenir Of times like this when you would play Our favorite songs from yesterday So once again can we just hear find the strength to play us just one more we love to hear you these songs at length we've heard so long before we love to hear you
was beautiful. Thank you so much, Malvika. That was a lovely performance. I'm so glad we got to see it. I thank you deeply on behalf of Red FM 93.5 and of course the India story continues. How do you do it, girl? We have another segment where Malvika is going to sing some more for you. But before that, I have like a quick rapid fire to just figure yeah, out like it. who you are and what you're doing right now. Are you ready? Let's do it. <laughs> All right, Malvika. Or Mally, what is the one song you're listening to on repeat mode right now? There's a song called uh, Careless. Uh, I've forgotten the artist's name. I know the song. I listen to it all the time. Uh, that one and uh, Bitter with the Sweet by um, Carol King. That's the one. That's the one. What's the most trouble you've ever gotten into? Uh, so when I was in college, I did an interview with um, a newspaper, and they asked me questions like, "Oh, so you're in college, but you're also a musician. So does that mean um, mm -hmm. you do you bunk college like other college kids and that sort of thing?" And I said, "Oh yeah, I mean of course, which college kid doesn't bunk college?" But I managed to keep my attendance above board, so I'm okay. And the very next day in the newspaper there was a whole full page article the title of it was band baja and bunking oh, <laughs> and quickly somebody may comedy may put their own yeah, agenda and so in there i, I walk see. into college and my hod is sitting with the newspaper open and like you, th this article was open and parent is like what does this mean like oh okay um yeah that's I, i don't know how to explain it but i will only say this i never said that i uh, bunk college all the time but i am good about keeping my attendance what is the most useless talent you have do you have a useless talent oh yeah um i can guess any 80s song in, within like the first few seconds of the of the yeah. music playing is it's it bizarre talent <laughs> i can and i can also tell you the artist and the release year all right if there was one thing you could change about the industry what would it be uh getting paid on time i think that's the thing that a lot of people <laughs> the, also, i mean it's just a general freelance problem i think but um i notice this mainly in our industry like in india it's you know payment is something mm -hmm. that people just like let slide very often it's just like a given that you have to wait for your payment i mean here i'm just so used to chasing payments and not getting it on time and having to fight for it and very often you even write it off if it takes too long so i think that's definitely something i'd like mm. to change absolutely what a what a good one to say your all time favorite song forever whether you were a child or whether you think you'll be an old woman and you'd love to listen to it which one would it be Ooh, uh there's a song called gypsy by people mac which is my travel travel song yep. and like i listen to it everywhere okay. i go that's amazing you have to sing us a few lines please before we go into yours <laughs> okay so on the to the And on that note, I'm going to say that Malvika has sung this song. It's time for her own song. It's time for a, another performance. Malvika, please do the honors. Something more to turn 
Thank you so much for being with us. Thank I haven't for yet graduated me. calling you Mally completely. <laughs> okay. It has been a, a complete pleasure speaking to Likewise. you. Likewise. 26 year old, going to be 27 in a few mm -hmm. days. Don't forget to wish her on the 16th of this month. That's when her birthday is. And uh, it has been a pleasure just, you know, listening to the influences on your life and what you're planning to do and for you uh, for singing to us. As we've spoken, the light has changed of the day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We've spoken it's to the, the lot time. Got my the light of the day has changed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's true. And I have the sun and a beautiful, beautiful day in Mumbai. Thank you right. so much. Cheers, uh, Manishka. Nice talking to you. Cheers, cheers. Lovely talking to you too. I hope you had a grand time this evening with me. I've had a super time speaking to Malvika. Uh, check her out. She's an artist of the future. I also want to remind you that this is the India Story Continues. Tune into more conversations, performances again next Saturday. It has been an absolute pleasure. This is Malishka signing off. Mwah.